Meanwhile, a project to resurface and widening a highly traveled portion of the H1 freeway is nearly underway. Much of that work, though, will be done at night, so crews don't want to interfere with the rush hour traffic. Alexander Zanes with what we all need to know. Howard, the project will focus on smoothing out the road surface on the most traveled part of the H1 freeway, as well as adding an additional shoulder lane that could eventually be opened up during morning and evening rush hour. This stretch of the H1 freeway sees around 240,000 cars each day. With that amount of traffic, the DOT says working overnight is the best option. It's the busiest portion of the state by far in terms of the, of the highways. So we know to do daytime work during those conditions, it's going to have a significant impact. The project to resurface and widen the portion of the H1 freeway between the Waimalu Viaduct and the IAEA off-ramp will start this May and take two years to complete. In that time, overnight work will prompt closures of anywhere from one to three lanes. There will be uh, a staggered closure. So the earlier, like 7.30 p.m., let's say, we might start with one lane closure, and then an hour later, maybe a two lane, and then a little bit later, uh, three lanes. Um, but in the overnight hours, there will be up to three lanes closed. So people will want to be aware of that. Crews will only work in one direction at a time while the overnight work is underway. As far as noise, the Department of Health still needs to approve a noise variance for overnight hours. But DOT will be using low volume generators along with other noise reducing equipment to keep noise to a minimum. There's a 24 hour hotline that is set up in case residents do hear or are disturbed. Um, they can give us uh, the project manager a call. Um, and they could work uh, to, to make sure that, you know, we are being good neighbors and we are being good stewards uh, of, of this roadway and of this work. And for a complete construction schedule as well as weekly updates, you can find a link on our website, k2.com. Howard?